Hi, my name is Chris Tilton. I'm Chief Information Officer at ICE Energy, and I'm here today with Dr. Marcel Christians, our Vice President of Research and Development. And this is the week of September 12, 2016, and today we're at the Riverside Lab. We call it the IDEA Lab uh, for Innovation, Design, Engineering, and Application. And this is where ICE Energy designs and develops all of its products. So uh, recently, Marcel, we released a little bit of information about a new product, the IV10 and we're getting a huge response. People are very interested in this product. So we thought it would be a good time to sit down, talk about the IV10, uh, how it compares to some of our other solutions, and and just uh, pick your brain on how that development effort's going. Sure, so the IV10, uh, we know it as the Ice Cup, is the Ice Bear 30's baby brother, uh, really meant to be used in homes. So you're meant to uh, install it in your house and like it's the ice bear 30 it's an ice battery so uh, it's going to provide cooling from its battery but um, the major difference between the ice bear 30 and the ice bear 10 the ice cup is that it can also provide heating and cooling without the use of an additional air conditioning system so the ice cup completely replaces either a heat pump that you have in your house or the external air conditioner unit and the furnace that you would conventionally use to provide all of those services in your home. And what size, what size house would you say the, the uh, Ice Cup is designed for and how much storage does it have? The Ice Cup is designed for a home typically uh, between 1,500 to 2,000 square feet. Um, it can s deliver in its ice battery mode up to three hours of continuous cooling um, and when it's running in direct heating and cooling mode, it can run um, exactly the same way as you would expect a furnace or an air conditioning traditional HVAC system to run as. And we understand at Ice Energy how power hungry air conditioning systems are. So uh, talk a little bit about how you see uh, this giving the homeowner the ability to take charge of their own, their own uh, energy storage needs. Sure. So in the, at, in the middle of summer, your air, your air conditioning system can be up to 40% of your total electricity cost, which is a major issue. Um, now, especially these days as residential homes, as, as homes are going uh, from a fixed flat rate um, to a time of use rate where it's more expensive to run air conditioning systems or any electricity, to use any electricity during the middle of the day, um, it makes a lot of sense to be to either store energy in the middle of the night when it's uh, abundant. You know, you have good, uh, you have a lot of energy uh, to do so, and it's cheap to get it from the utility. Or uh, if you have a solar system in your house, you can also use excess energy that you would otherwise be giving away to everyone for free. You're able to harness that to store it and then to power your own AC system when you need it, not at exactly that time. Do you see this product being actually installed, the prototype? The first prototype is actually going to be ready this fall. We're going to be installing, we've identified a home, um, and we're going to be installing it uh, later this fall. And um, it's uh, right on time to be able to show, it'll be the dog days of summer slash fall, so we're gonna really be able to show both the AC system working, the ice uh, cooling part of it, and most importantly, at night, we're going to be able to also show that it heats the house. Perfect, perfect. Well, we're going to take some. We're going to take a look at some of the uh, designs that you have currently. And why don't you tell us a little bit about this first design that we see? This is the Sear 14. Is that correct? That's right. This is a Sear 14. One major difference that you'll see that you can see while you're see, uh, looking at the Ice Bear 10, the Ice Cup, is that the ice battery is not in the same system, it's not in the same envelope as it's on it's not an all-in-one solution. So we have what we call our engine, which is just what we use to charge the ice tank and to deliver either the heating or the cooling is physically separate from the tank itself. Right. So here we get a little bit of flexibility from this because now this tank can actually go inside of your home. It can go in your basement. If you've got a basement and you want to keep it in your basement, you can keep it outside. 
because of the way we've designed it, it's quite slender and um, it's, it fits in a lot of places um, that bigger systems usually tend to have difficulty with. We also have a second solution, which is our SEER 18 solution. Uh, it's a high efficiency uh, unit where um, the design is exactly the same. We've um, really looked at the, at the cooling slash heating engine a little bit uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a different way. We wanted to make it an extremely attractive unit and um, we've really gone and we've made it a lot more slender so that it can, even though it's a much higher efficiency um, cooling engine, it can still fit in the same uh, in the same space, like in the same side yard, which tends to be now. Thank you very much for, for your time today and uh, for showing us around the lab. Absolutely, thank you.